Security operatives have busted a kidnap hideout in the state, and the government also described as a lie an online video which suggests that it's demolished houses at Centenary City in Enugu South Council area of the state. Bamadili Ajay has won this. The emergence of an online video posted by a skit maker showing an alleged plans by government to demolish houses at Centenary City in Ogun got many talking. I come investigate. I know they do yawa. I suffer every blessed day. An incident the state government described as false, but revealed that they demolished one criminal hideout used for kidnapping at the outskirts of the estate. On a fact-finding mission, newsmen were taking round to get first-hand information about the incident. The investigation took about 1.5 kilometers to navigate the developing Centenary City Estate Okunano from Enugunport Accord Expressway. Driving around the rough untapped part of housing estate, the team arrived at the demolished kidnapping hideout, situated at the isolated location, surrounded by detached CCTV camera poles and a decoy block making industry. The state government disclosed that it did not demolish houses as been speculated in the online video, but asked landowners to regularize the land titles. It will be important to state that not one single building that had been earmarked for destruction was touched. Because we also have the, the human feeling to allow these houses for, for them to be regularized. But it cannot be condoned that some people are stockpiling uh, arms and ammunition in a particular place. Like if you look behind me, you see a house that we succeeded in destroying. We are assuring all our investors that we protect their rights. We are not deterred by black males. We are determined to stamp out land grabbers efforts to betray the investor friendliness of Enugu State. We insist that when people enter a contract with Enugu State government, they can go to bed and sleep. Capital territory is determined to frustrate every attempt to illegally grab land or encroach. The state police command revealed it arrested three male kidnapped suspects at their hideout, recovered eight pump action guns, four live cartridges, one machete, four unit solar powered CCTV cameras, 13 assorted phones, one DVD, and four bags of clothes. Bami Deli Ajayi, TVC News, Enugun. And for more on this development, let's speak with the chairman, Enugu Capital Territory Development Authority, Mr. Uche Anya. Good to have you on the news at this time. So now that the government has debunked allegation of uh, demolishing properties at Centenary Road, talk to us about the steps taken to regularize the properties in that area. Thank you for this opportunity. Well, in any good state, we have a law that makes adequate provisions and regulations for developing properties. That law is called the Enugu Capital Territory Development Law 2009. Section that law states, Section 13, 13 one of that law states emphatically that no development by way of building, cable, road, underground, in the air, can commence in Enugu capital municipal, municipality without the written approval of the authority. Also, we do not just give approvals. We insist that the title to the land must be correct because we don't want a situation where investors have their land, and another person goes behind and starts building on it. So this is a very simple matter. And many people prefer to shortchange the system. 
So before you know it, they tell you they are building a, a house. No title, no approval by the appropriate authority. And in Igbo land, we have a proud slang that goes thus, akuruono, meaning that when you go out and work hard, you should invest part of it in your homestead. All right. Now, we in the end, we, we welcome that, but we insist that Ako, Ama, maybe you know. So we don't want the world that comes and imposes lawless behavior in All our right. community. All right. Point taken. Then let me quickly bring in this question where we saw in the online video an online skit maker accusing the government of demolishing or rather earmarking its property to be demolished. How would you react to this accusation? Or is it true? If it isn't true, or if it is true, what exactly are his uh, law? What, are, what exactly has he done wrong for his property to be demolished? The funny thing is that if you watch that mysterious video, you will see that it is sheer blackmail at work. Because the gentleman is there showing us his house totally untouched. He has a beautiful, completed home without title, without uh, approval. And he says he is apprehensive that his house may be brought down and that people should reach out to the governor to spare him and that he is ready to regularize. It's, it's, if you watch that video again, nobody touched his house. And uh, our governor was emphatic. Our governor made it clear to us that no completed building and or occupied building should be touched. But the house we that understand was marked, given... but yet to be demolished. Yes. How would you react to this? Every, every house that is not legit is marked. The so marking th gives you the elixir to go reach out and regularize. But that was not the main issue. The main issue is that Capital Territory got a report that there is a kidnapper's den in Centenary City. And we flew our drone and saw the place. It's very isolated. And we alerted the appropriate security agencies. So, so are you if saying... they had sought approval, if they had sought approval, we would not have, there would not have been need to give approval, uh, that we will never have approved a, for a den of criminals to go in Centenary City. Centenary City is so large that for those of us that know Lagos very well, it is larger than the entire Ikoi, stretching up to uh, stretching up to Lekki Phase One. So they went there, and we got this intelligence, and we alert, alerted the authority, and that gave us the more push to insist that every unauthorized development will not be allowed. All right, let's leave it at that. Thank you so much. Uh the Executive Secretary, Development, Cap Enigwood Capital Development Authority, Uche Anya, thank you so much for your time with us on the news at 10 this evening.